a funny old life I had, really. <laughs> I was brought up in the East End. I'm an East Ender originally. We moved to Norwich and we just fell in love with the place because it's so gothic and medieval and lots of old streets and stuff. We really liked it. Which when I first came to Norwich, I was unemployed. But after six months, I actually found a job. It's just a basically warehouse job, really. But I was I really quite liked it. I was there for about 20 odd years because of uh, family problems. I had to, I had to leave it and. I, it left me a bit um, high out of water, really, because it's, it's basically a large part of my life. My job was. Turning to the shed is almost like having a job for us now. At the moment, we've got a project on from Norwich Man Shed of uh, building a model Softwith Camel, which is a First World War biplane fighter. I myself have made a, a propeller for it. I've also been making bits of the engine. It's going to be a quite a good complicated model to make, but it should be really good. When I first turned up here, it was, it was quite a nice atmosphere to come into. I came along on the off chance and I've been coming in three or four times a week ever since all things. Become part of the furniture almost. <laughs> Another thing about the shed is it's a great place to make, make friends as well. It's socialising, like I don't, I don't have that many friends. You know, I've met some good guys here. And uh, he's like a big band of brothers, really. And um, you know, we can we all relate to each other. Yeah. You know, I've had, I've had me, I've had me a fair share of mental health problems in the past. Yeah, it's good. It's good to talk about it, really. You know, so you, to realise that you're not the only one. Because men don't talk about problems they've had in their in their life. It's not only woodwork we do. We also do metalwork. We've got a forge here. You've got all sorts of different machines you can use, different saws and things, and which I've learnt to use over the years and had training on. You get quite a lot of um, interesting jobs to do. Most of the time I've been working with wood. One of the best days so far has been when I made a, a planter. One of the ladies in reception liked it so much she wanted to buy it off us. Like, you know, I felt quite chuffed about that. You know, something I've actually made that she really appreciated. Yeah, makes you feel wanted, which is really important. And it's surprising, just as a, like a little bit of knowledge and a bit of skill, what you can actually make and achieve.